Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, Living Rebelche, and I am living in the process. It is Thirsty Thursday, where I quench your thirst. Yes, your thirst. And where are you today? Where are you in the world today that you can diss someone, say something bad about somebody else, put someone else down with your words? Where are you in your life where you can do that? And it feels good. Tune in. What? I didn't say that. I had you on footage. I said I don't believe all like, women are hoes. Son, listen. I believe dudes are hoes just like females are hoes. I'm just accepting to it. Females don't be accepting to be hoes. Like, I feel like we got to kind of level the playing field. Like women are the head of the households. So to demean a woman now and just attach a word for, to her because of what I would call is a man being upset at a woman for just going out there and do what she wants to. He keeps her there like, you're supposed to be here when I say so. You're supposed to do what I want you to do. You can't go out and be yourself. I feel like that diminishes the family structure. So you can't just attach the word over a woman and use that to vilify her and keep her in place basically because a woman actually holds things together. They hold shit in place. So when you look at a man and a woman, I feel like they should hold equal weight. If you're going to vilify a woman for being a hoe, you got to vilify a man for being a hoe. And I don't mean like you vilify him and yeah, it's cool to be a hoe. Like, nah, I be you home taking care of your family. You got your shit together. You doing what you're supposed to do for your people. Like, you can't just attach that to a woman. You feel what I'm saying? We hold equal responsibility. You need a man in the house and you need a woman in the house. So to just make it a one-sided argument, I feel like we should all take the heat the same. You feel what I'm saying? You came back for that shit. So men gotta hold that responsibility. You keep telling the truth. Thank you for his opinion. It's not the truth. It's his opinion. No, he says it's whack. It's not whack. You just don't like it. That's just you. It's whack. Yeah, you just don't like it. That's just you. It's whack. I'm going up and forward, but I'm not just going forward. I'm going. I'm rising up and I'm going forward. Um, but that's just deep on another level. But if you want to know more about what that means, tune in Thirsty Thursday so you can get more info. And uh, all the glory and thanks be to God. If you are a praise and worshiper, please go check out Temple of Guidance at Temple of Guidance um, on YouTube. I'll leave the link below so that you can always be searching yourself. When you want to get ministered or you want to get service, you want to hear the service, you want to hear the word of God, I do believe in God and not the generator, operator, and destroyer. But I believe that God is capable of doing all things. So be careful what you're saying, what you put out there. If you want good things to come to you, then you have to put great things out there. And that means changing your mindset, changing how you eat, and meditating so that your spirit can float and live freely and not be closed in to what everyone else says you're supposed to be or the perception of someone else's life. Remember, your perception, your invitation, your life. Peace. Ashe. <laughs>